give it a tail entry in there, mate. My old sparring partner, if he gets over the line, mate, on come Monday, um, we'll be out after him, mate, to try and restore rights to construction workers. It was his government back in um, under Howard that um, introduced the Australian Building Construction Commission, Gillard and, and um, Rudd have kept it in force. So regardless of who, who wins this election, we'll be um, obviously lobbying them to try and restore rights to construction workers. The laws that we face that, um, every day at work is seeing safety eroded and also seeing, um, unfortunately, seeing um, uh, our ability to be able to get on site and fix those safety issues um, sorted out. And these blokes don't want to know about it. Rudd doesn't want to know about it. Gillard doesn't want to know about it. And definitely Warren Ench doesn't want to know about it because he introduced it. He's come back around this time and um, we'll be coming and talking to him next week and saying we need to get rid of construction laws and fixing it up so there's one law for all Australian workers. And Labor didn't do very well in the last three years according to the ETU, is that right? Uh, from our perspective, you've got Tony Abbott and you've got Malcolm Turnbull and you've got the Liberals. They haven't done us any bloody favours. They were the ones that introduced work choices. They were the ones that introduced the, the ABCC. And now we've still got a hell of a lot of the same things um, that were left over from the, the Howard legacy. So, yeah, we're not definitely not happy with Labor. But the last thing I personally want to see is an Abbott government re-elected because he is an extremist. And there is a lot of extreme laws that he will bring back into this country. So get like, we can't afford to risk Abbott. But then um, my view is that um, the Labor hasn't done us any favours, so I'll be, I'll, I'm sort of looking elsewhere at what we can do to try and get some decent laws back into this country. What about your local member, Stewie? Uh, well, obviously people know that, um, that Jim Turner was largely elected on the back of the Rights at Work campaign in 2007. Um, Jim Turner has unfortunately gone missing as far as the unions are concerned. And, um, but the last person I want to see in, in saying that uh, get back into power is bloody Warren Ench, because Warren Ench refused to, to um, debate work choices, he dodged us, he, um, he, he lied to the media, he lied to the public, um, consistently refused to debate laws that he, he voted for in Canberra. So regardless of what happens, um, we'll have a crack at, um, at whoever's in power next time because the ETU will not be controlled by any political party. Thank you, mate. Good on you, mate. There you go.